When it came to Hurricane Sandy, Governor's Island was directly affected by it. Our school wasn't able to function for a good month or so. It was devastating. It was horrific. Since Sandy hit, people have been noticing and looking into coastal resiliency and resilience by design. We're starting to feel the impacts of climate change in our cities, in our homes. 100-year storm events are coming in as frequently as, as twice in a decade or even more, devastating coastal communities. We're talking about erosion of coastlines, erosion of city infrastructure. It's very scary. It's a huge threat to our ecosystem, to our cities, to our, to our states. And that's where we come in. Econcrete is an Israeli company. We're really making a concrete that is inherently a little bit stronger. 70% of coastal infrastructure are concrete-based. We started to identify different materials that you can add into the concrete mix that affect the ability of the concrete to support a balanced biology. And once it's introduced into the water, we are enhancing the growth of oysters and tube worms and coral and algae and like a crust of, of marine life. So think about a seawall that has a crust on it. When the waves and the sediments try to erode the infrastructure, it's protected. Our hub is New York, and this area actually used to have oyster reefs that protected from erosion and storms, and they were practically extinct. And therefore, some of our products and designs are aiming directly to do oyster seeding. So we're looking into bringing back the eastern oyster that used to be the native and natural line of defense. At Harbor Seals for Biodiversity, we work especially with um, the organisms that live in our harbor and we determine what state of health our harbor is at at the moment. Our students are working with scientists, they're working with environmentalists, they're working with educators. So I think that gives them a little bit of an edge to try and tackle some of these bigger problems we're seeing. This is actually an example of real concrete we actually have. And you can see how it has examples of harsh corners and little crevices that we're gonna stick onto. We want to do our part and helping and putting these oysters back and giving that opportunity for the storm barriers to be there so we can say, hey, we came up with a natural welcoming solution that will benefit us further. We need all types of people right now, citizens, uh, scientists, policymakers working together because the solutions that will help fix some of the environmental problems are gonna to have to be global solutions. They can't just come from one sector or one age group or one nation. Econcrete, I think, can change the way that coastline are looking and functioning. It's not a dream anymore. We're the only technology that provides a win-win solution that looks at strengthening our coastal structures, but also looking into strengthening our ecosystems. We are giving our solution regardless of politics or geographic boundaries. We are working in Europe and we're working with different states. New York, New Jersey, Florida, California. Wherever people need defenses and wherever communities need help, we want to be there to help them.